So we are recording this from the high atop, the <laughs> corporate headquarters of Castanetti Realty Group. Yeah. And outside uh, is a shed. It's a it's it's a shed. It's beautiful. It's an accessory dwelling unit in some towns. ADU baby. No one's living in there except for food, but what the heck are you doing out there? So first of all, Central Mass Pet, Pet Pantry says thank you. We started with our tiny little shed. Our little pantry and everybody laughed saying, did you really think that was going to be sufficient? And in my, my mind, I was like, this is going to be great. A weekend, we said, absolutely no way. This is not working. This pantry cannot be filled enough. So lo and behold, is our gorgeous 8 by 12 shed in Castanetti colors built and filled to literally, have you been in there? You were in there the other day. Yeah. Filled to the brim with cat, dog, uh, gerbil, hamster, rabbit food, you name it. So, what the heck are you doing out there? So, and I want you to compare and contrast it to a food pantry. Yes. Which this is kind of a tangent. Yeah. So, obviously, the food pantry is a completely separate thing, and you know you can't keep those stocked. We didn't realize the the desperation in people needing dog and cat food primarily. So. You know, we were lucky enough to get a crazy huge donation um, a few weeks ago to literally fill that entire shed for, that should last us a solid, like, month or two. Yeah. <laughs> no, but solid that's, month that's or amazing. Two. Right. You With fill this it. massive, like, biggest shed on the face of the earth <laughs> shed, and it's going to last a month or two. Yeah. So, I mean, we didn't expect, so, the news traveled very fast with this. And, and, I mean, honestly, obviously, it's, you know, a blessing to so many, but I mean, we have people coming in and out of here multiple times a day. Um, we are going to switch to pantry hours. It's a little more controlled, um, but so many people want to donate. We've had, had unbelievable amount of donations and, you know, the messages I get of people that are just like so thankful because they couldn't afford dog or cat food or, you know, people are fostering and, you know, the animal shelters that we're supporting and rescues and, you know, it, it's, it's a true blessing in the community. And, you know, thanks to you guys, we are now open in Southboro. Southboro, too. Southboro Pet Pantry, number two. Sue Gordon gets the nod there. Yep. She did all the legwork to set that up. Which is awesome. And, you know, there's people from every community, you know, that are coming to Shrewsbury. So now if we can branch out, which is the goal, um, you know, we can service so many more people that need it. It's amazing to me um, to leave the office. We're actually in an office building. Yep. Although it looks like a house. <laughs> to leave the office at night yep. and see people rummaging through the pet pantry. Yeah. And that sounds negative and, and, and it's not. Yeah. They're looking for what they need for their pet. Right. And frankly, when I go by, it's a little sheepish. Hello. hello. Right. Right. And it's like, hi, guys. You right. know, because this is why you've done this. Right. This is reality. Serve that need. Right. This is a reality. This is a no judgment zone. I don't care, you know, if you're helping your neighbor. I, I want this to benefit these animals that are in need. I don't want animals to ever go without. You know that I would go without, you know, before Brody and Tucker went without, um, you know, and I know so many people feel the same way. You know, we help homeless people with animals. People judge all the time. The guy is homeless. Why does he have an animal? Because you know what? The therapy that animals provide is, is next to, I mean, a, a regular therapist cannot help the way that an animal can help certain people. Um, so, you know, we, we want to provide the service and I'm, I'm psyched that it's taken off the way that it did. We have so many volunteers. People are just excited about it. You know, I love when little kids come and fill the pantry and, you know, it's just, I think it's a teachable moment too, especially for kids to show compassion, giving back to others. And, right. you know, the messages I get are truly what motivates me. Like I don't share all of them, but you know, people in tears, like I haven't been able to feed my cat, whatever it needs for, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's truly one of the best things that I've done in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember living in Florida. Yeah. And hurricanes. Yeah. Um, and people having to make a decision. I can't. To, to, to leave Florida, leave their home. Yep. And they leave their pet behind. I, I can't. And, you know, I got to tell you, I was never in that situation. Right. I can't conceive of leaving your pet behind. Never. The, the 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 dog. I'm a dog person. The yeah. dog would be sitting on my lap. Oh, the let, dog let, would be on my back let, if I had to walk. So, I mean, let, let them right. stop me. Exactly. <laughs> I could never. I mean, I feel bad leaving the house, but I'm looking at the dogs in the window as I'm going to work. You know, I I can't ever imagine having to make that decision. I also can't imagine 
you know, look at the state of our economy. Yep. Food is tight for families. And obviously animals are usually come second, for, you know, over kids. Um, and I hear all the time, and this is what prompted it was, you know, these parents are feeding like their dogs like rice and stuff like that. That's affordable because they can't afford dogs. Like that kills yep. me. So, you know, if we, if we have the reach, we have the network, we have the connections, why don't we use them? So in Southboro, where Sue Gordon has set up this pet, pet pantry. Yep. We've got on the side of her garage a donation box. Love it. Okay, because the pet pantry itself is located at uh, a church on Common. Yep. And uh, it's open 6 to 7 on Thursdays and 9 to 10 on Fridays. Okay. So we are taking food from the Central Mass Pet, pet Pantry yep. and running it over there and stocking it. And, you know, we've started to let people know, yep. Facebook posts and that kind of stuff. Yep. And now we've got people saying, well, can we have Amazon delivered to your house? Love it. Yes. Right. Yes, please. So many people, and, and you'll notice this more and more when you do it, so many people want to get involved. They don't always know how. So for all of our ch you know charitable efforts, we always make it accessible to everybody. I don't care if you can't donate financially, share a post, show up, do whatever. They'll so the Southboro Pet Pantry yep. has rules on who can take advantage. Okay. It's uh, Southboro residents and members of their five churches in town. Okay. Okay. So it's not anyone. Yep. How about the pet pantry out back here? No rules. No rules. No. If you're in need to help. But you told me I had to keep the door locked. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yes. There, uh, we have to have structure because right. I also don't, you know, for, from a safety point of view, unfortunately, there are people that don't always have the best intentions. I can't have someone just coming in and what if they did something to the food or, you know, it's right. just, we need to, it needs to be a safe thing too. And I need to make sure we are providing, you know, safe quality products to these dogs, cats, gerbils, birds, whatever. There's another agent here that I want to at least call out and that's uh, Nick Panarelli. Yep. He has Thank spent. For Nick. <laughs> he has spent hours. Yes. Out there, moving food around. Yep. Painting. Yes. Um, I didn't see you with a paintbrush. Oh, really? For very long. No. Okay. I did paint for a little bit. We ran out of paint, unfortunately. I was not upset about that that Sunday morning. Um, We're getting pictures of Andrea holding a brush. You know, Nick is covered in paint. Covered. And the Andrea was brush. intact. Um, but. That's the point. We love when people step up and someone like Nick has been selfless every day. What do you need me to do? And you need that because I can't do it all alone. Yep. I can't do it without, you know, our agents and our team helping. And then we always have our core volunteers. And then we have all of these people coming out of the woodwork. I put a post up today saying, you know, who wants to help bag, you know, dog treats and right. label and, and deliver. And it's cute. Like Girl Scout troops are going to come out. So it's oh, just, yeah, it's, you know, it's just a great way to bring the community together for the greater good of others or animals. And you know, that's our mission. So I called out Nick, anyone else you would call out? I mean, obviously there's you, a guy, Dean. Yeah. Thanks Dean. Of course, um, Dean and his team building the shed in a day and a half as I Amazing. cracked the whip, I cracked the whip as the GC. I said, it's, listen guys, it's pouring down rain and they're out there putting it rain together. Or shine. We got things to do. Um, yeah. Dean and his team, of course, they, they, Dean always steps up in any way to help. Um, you know, you and Sue for taking the reins in Southboro. Um, Dory Maynard, we she um, runs the Central Mass Kibble Kitchen, which is a 501c3. She said, listen, I can't devote all my time to it. Do you guys want to merge? So now we are with Central Mass Kibble Kitchen as well. So we are a registered 501c3. So all of your donations are tax deductible. Um, and then we're just looking to grow in, in so many different areas. And stay tuned because we are getting a donation of 1,600 pounds of food um, in the next few weeks. So we will be delivering... Tell me about the food. Is it? <laughs> like, yeah, what eleven chop house got exactly, some left right. over? Yeah. We wish it was steaks. Um, so yeah, so those would be just like with um, Second Chance Animal Services. They brought us into their donation where they had thirty-two pallets of food, which was a, a, a production that I have truly never seen. Carl Savini, we rented a U-Haul. He went, picked it up. We're sweating, lugging, you know. But it's a labor of love. Well, thank you for everything you do in that space. Thanks. Appreciate it.